Live Honolulu prosecutor Steve Alm today cleared the officers in the police shooting death of a Kahalu'u man in 2020, but his family's attorney says the officers placed themselves in danger, which led to the deadly shooting. Eric Desog has our top story. Back in 2020, when police tried to arrest Kalen Gensler for probation violations in Kahalu, he fled into his Jeep, forcing officers to try to open his locked side doors to get him out. And the Jeep then reversed in a sweeping motion back right toward Officer One and Acting Sergeant One. They both jumped out of the way of the moving Jeep to avoid getting hit. The Jeep then dropped into gear and immediately lurched toward Acting Sergeant One. Five shots were fired in total at Gensler. One of the shots struck Gensler in the head, killing him. Police later found a semi-automatic weapon in the backseat of the Jeep. A toxicology exam was done on Gensler and confirmed the presence of alcohol, methamphetamine, amphetamine, and alprazolam, which is Xanax. Honolulu prosecutor Steve Alm says the officers acted appropriately by not boxing in Gensler's car. He says the shooting was justified because Gensler drove at one of the officers who couldn't get out of the way, forcing the other to fire the fatal gunshot. But Gensler's family lawyer disagrees, saying the officers put themselves in danger. Well, he couldn't get out of the way because he put himself in that position in the first place. So it's an unreasonable and unnecessary use of deadly force. And they should let the guy go and catch him some other way at some other time. Gensler's family has filed a wrongful death lawsuit, which is pending. But because the Honolulu prosecutor found that the shooting was justified, the officers will face no criminal charges. Rick Desog, Hawaii News Now.